English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You can learn English as a second language. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange. The most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Look at the picture. What do you see? Two young ladies. They're talking. They're talking. What are they talking about? They're talking about having fun. To have fun. This is like a vacation. What's this? What's this? This is called white water rafting. White water rafting. White water rafting. An exercise, this kind of sport, to have fun, to take a boat and row in the water. White water rafting. Conversation. Did you like it? Did you like it? Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Page ninety-five, exercise seven, conversation. Did you like it? Listen and practice. So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And one day we went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like the rafting very much. Laura and Erica are talking about last summer. So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We traveled to Arizona last summer. We saw the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon. This is a place, a place in Arizona.、Mm, really? Wow! Did you like it? Did you like it? Here we have yeah sound between like and it. Like it? Did you like it? Oh yes, we loved it. We loved it. We liked it very much. Did you go hiking? Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. No. What's hiking? Hiking, walking for long time. Hiking to walk for long time. No, we didn't walk for length for long time. Actually, we rode horses. Rode horses to ride a horse. We rode horses. We didn't hike. We didn't walk. We rode horses. And one day, we went white water rafting. Also, we went white water rafting. This is white water rafting. Where 
on the Colorado River. On the river, that's name is Colorado River. Wow, great! Did you have fun? Did you enjoy? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like the rafting very much. My sister didn't like to go white water rafting. She didn't like this this activity. Now answer these questions, please. What about Erica? Did Erica go anywhere last summer? Yes, she did. Erica and her sister went to Arizona. What did they see? They saw the Grand Canyon. Canyon Valley. Did Erica like it? Did Erica like the Grand Canyon? Yes, she liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go hiking? No, they didn't. But they rode horses. What did Erica and her sister do? They rode horses and went white water rafting on the Colorado River. This is white water rafting on the river of Colorado. Did Erica have fun? Yes, she did. But her sister didn't like the rafting very much. She didn't like rafting. This is rafting. Exercise number eight. Page 95. Exercise eight. Grammar focus. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you ride a bicycle? No, I didn't. I rode a horse. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Simple past yes no questions. So the simple past verb plus D E D I E D the simple past for action an activity that happened in the past and finished. Negative didn't plus main verb infinitive. Did. Did you? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Had passed. Verb to have. Has and have. The past had. Did you? Did you ride a bicycle? No, I didn't. I rode a horse. Ride. The past. Rode. I rode a horse. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Liked it. She liked it a lot. Did Erica like? Answer, yes, she did. Did Erica and her sister? Erica and her sister, they. Did they go to Colorado? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Go, the past went. Go, went. So here, to ask a question, yes, no questions, in the answer, yes or no, 
Dead. Subject. Did you? Did she? Did they? Did he? Did he? Did we? Did you? Did they? Did I? Did? Subject. Main verb. Infinitive. Did you have? Did you write? Did she like? Did they go? Did Erica and her sister go? Did they go? Answer. Yes. No. Subject. Did. Yes. Subject. Did. No. Subject. Didn't. The meaning of did you have it means here not. لو أنا بقى في المعنى في الترجمة بحس يقول مثلاً إيه فعل هو يملك good summer أو صيف كويس لا هنا معناها did you هل أنت يبقى هنا did هنا مش بتترجم نخلي بالنا الفعل هنا مش بيترجم في الأول السؤال يعني did you معناها هل هل أنت did you ride a bicycle هل أنت ركبت دراجة؟ Did you؟ هل أنت؟ Did Erica like her vacation؟ هل أحبت إريكا الأجازة؟ Hey guys, and welcome back to My English Brain. Today, we are talking about the past tense, yes and no questions. Alright, let's get started. Okay, time for the grammar. And today's grammar is the past tense, yes, no questions. To start the past tense question, we use the auxiliary verb did, then the subject, then the verb, and the verb is in the base form, the normal verb. Do not use the verb in the past tense. The past tense conjugation is on the auxiliary, did. Again, the verb is in the base form. The answer, we use yes and the subject and did, or no and the subject and didn't. Okay, let's look at some examples. Remember, did starts the question for the past, then the subject, then the verb. For example, did you see the Eiffel Tower? Remember, did is in the past, and the main verb is in the base form. Did you see the Eiffel Tower? Yes, I did. Another example. Did you like the food? Again, did starts the question in the past, and we use the base form of the verb, like. Did you like the food? No, I didn't. Remember, the negative form of the auxiliary. No, I didn't. Now it's time to practice. Did Janet move to France last year? Yes, she did. Again, repeat. Did Janet move to France last year? Did Janet move to France last year? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Did 
did your parents visit you in France? No, they didn't. Again, repeat. Did your parents visit you in France? Did your parents visit you in France? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Did you and Janet eat? At any nice restaurants? Yes, we did. Repeat. Did you and Janet eat at any nice restaurants? Did you and Janet eat at any nice restaurants? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Did your brother talk to you on Skype often? No, he didn't. Again, repeat. Did your brother talk to you on Skype often? Did your brother talk to you on Skype often? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay, to review, guys, the past tense yes no questions. Remember, we start with did, the auxiliary, and we use the verb in the base form, the normal form. Remember, in the past tense questions, the verb is not in the past tense. The past tense conjugation is on the auxiliary, did. Okay guys, so thanks for watching my English brain. Remember, if you liked the video, share it with your friends, family, and classmates. A. Complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. In this exercise, you try to answer. You try to complete the conversation and then you try to repeat it to practice with your friend. One minute try to answer. Finished? 1A. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went. I went to the beach a lot. A and B, A. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had, I had a great summer. I went, I went to the beach a lot. Two. Did you? Did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I, no, didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, I stayed here. I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Again, did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. I made more money. 3. Did you? 
Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took. I took tennis lessons, and I played tennis every day. Three. Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons, and I played tennis every day. Four. Did you? Did you speak English last summer? Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I. But I read English books. Read the the past read. R E A D the same verb. خلي بالنا إن الفعل read بنطقه في الماضي read. وبقى بنفس الحروف. But I read English books and I watch it English movies and I watch it E D and I watch it English movies. خلي بالنا الإي دي هنا بنطقها إيه زي T. Watch it. Four. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read English books and I watched English movies. B. Pair work. Ask the questions from part A. Answer with all your own information. You will say your answer. You answer. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I went swimming every day. Two. Did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. I traveled to Alex. I traveled to Hergada. I traveled to Marsa Alam. I traveled to Marsa Matruh. I went swimming every day. I went fishing every day. Did you take any classes last summer? No, I didn't. Did you speak English last summer? Yes, I did. I chatted. On the internet, I chatted. On the internet, internet, internet. I spoke to American. I spoke to American. I chatted on the internet. I chatted on the internet. Page ninety-six. Exercise nine. Listening. I didn't go anywhere. Listen to Andy, Gail, Patrick, and Fran. What did they do last summer? Check the correct answers. One. Hello, Andy. Did you have a good summer? Oh, I had an okay summer, I guess. I visited my brother in Vancouver. That's nice. Did you go to the beach? No, I didn't. It rained all summer, so we usually did things indoors. One, Andy. Did Andy go to the beach? No, he didn't. He didn't go to the beach because it rained. Did Andy visit his brother? Yes. He visited his brother. Andy visited his brother. Number one answer: visited his brother. Number two. Hi, Gail. How are you? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. Thanks. I just relaxed. Did you see any good movies? Movies? Well, no, but I read a lot of good books. Gail, did Gail see movies? No, she didn't. She didn't see films. Gail, 
read a lot of books. She read books. Number two answers. Number two answer. Read books. The past read books. She read books. Three. Patrick. So, Patrick, did you do anything interesting last summer? Oh yeah. You know how I love sports. I played tennis and rode my bike every day. Tennis and bike riding? You're a really good athlete. Yeah. Well, I try. Three. Patrick. Did Patrick do anything last summer? Yes, he did. He went bike riding and he played tennis. So Patrick played tennis and went bike riding. He's a good athlete. He's fit. He practices sport. He went bike riding and played tennis. Answer number three. Went bike riding, played tennis. Four. Four. Did you have a job last summer, Fran? Well, no, but I did a lot of work. What do you mean? Did you get a job? No, but my parents and I painted our house, and I worked in the yard a lot. Fran. Number four, Fran. Did Fran get a job? No. Fran worked in the yard. Fran worked in the yard and painted the house. Fran worked in the yard and painted the house. Exercise number ten: summer activities. In this exercise, summer activities. You find two words from the list that go with each verb in the chart. Then listen and check. In this exercise, you have these verbs. You write for every verb two words. This is number one. Then listen and check. So you answer first, then you listen. Page nine. Page nine. Page ninety-six. Exercise ten. Word power. Summer activities. Part A. Find two words from the list that go with each verb in the chart. Then listen and check. Get a job. Get a new bike. Go camping. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play softball. Play volleyball. Take a class. Take a trip. The words camping, a class, fun, job, new bike, new people, new, also new, new people, old friends, a picnic, softball, swimming. A trap, volleyball. So number one, get a job, get a new bike, bike, bicycle. Two, go, go, go camping, go swimming, go camping, go swimming, camping, ing, swimming, ing, go. Verb with ing. Go camping. Go swimming. Have. Have fun. Have a picnic. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play. Play softball, play volleyball. Play softball, play volleyball. Take. 
take a class, take a trap, take a class, take a trap. Now, can you make a sentence? Last week I got a job. Last month my father bought a new bike. I got a new bike. Go the past went. Put this word in a sentence. Last summer I went swimming. I went swimming. Last week I met my old friends. I met my old friends in the street. Yesterday I played football. Last month I took a trip. B. Pair work. Check through six things to ask your partner, then ask and answer questions. In this exercise, you will ask your friend some questions. After you choose these things, example, did you play any sports last summer? Did you play any sports last summer? Yes, I did. My friends and I played basketball a lot. This is basketball. Basketball. So you ask your friend a question, your friend answer, yes or no. Conversation. Did you buy anything interesting last summer? Yes, I did. I bought a swimsuit. I bought a computer. Did you eat any new foods last summer? Yes, I did. I ate sushi. Did you meet any interesting people last summer? Yes, I did. I met my English teacher in high school. Did you go anywhere interesting? Yes, I did. I traveled to Hurghada last summer. I traveled to Sharm el-Sheikh. Did you get a job last summer? No, I didn't. Did you play any games last summer? Yes, I did. I played basketball. Did you read any books? Yes, I did. I read wonderful books. Did you see any movies last summer? Yes, I did. Did you take any traps? No, I didn't. Did you take any classes last summer? No, I didn't. Did you have fun last summer? Yes, I did. I had a lot of fun. I had fun. Page 97, exercise 12, reading. Did you have a good weekend? Karen. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Mariella's wedding. She got married in her parents' garden. She wore a fantastic dress. Her parents served a nice meal after the ceremony. I'm really happy for her. And her new husband is really nice. Pete, I didn't go outside all weekend. I had so much work to do. On Saturday, I studied all day. On Sunday, I did the dishes, cleaned my apartment, 
and did laundry. Sunday night, I watched a DVD for my history class. My weekend wasn't relaxing at all. Lacey. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends and I drove to the campsite on Saturday. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. On Sunday, we went fishing. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Jonathan. I went to a rock concert with some friends. I had an awful time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the band at all. Then, on our way home, the car broke down. My parents came and got us. I finally got home at six in the morning. I'm so tired. Did you have a good weekend? One, Karen. I had a great weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. Great, wonderful. Weekend, day off. No work, no school. I went to my best friend Maria's wedding. Wedding, marriage party. Wedding, marriage party. Marriage party. She got married in her parents' garden. So the marriage was in the garden of her parents, in the garden of her father and mother's house. She wore a fantastic dress. Wear, present, past, wore. She wore a wonderful dress. Her parents served a nice meal, meal food, a nice food after the marriage ceremony, after the marriage. I am really happy for her. And her new husband is really nice. Her husband, her future husband is really nice. Her husband is really nice. This is Merla. Merla's husband, Merla. Merla's husband is really nice. To Pete. I didn't go outside all weekend. I had so much work to do. So Pete didn't go outside on the weekend. Why? Because he has a lot of work. On Saturday, I studied all day. He studied all the day. On Sunday, I did the dishes. Did the dishes? Washed the dishes. I washed the dishes. Cleaned my apartment. Cleaned my flat. And did laundry. Laundry. Washing the clothes. Sunday night, I watched it. A DVD for my history class. He watched a DVD for the history lecture. My weekend wasn't relaxing at all. My weekend wasn't good. It wasn't relaxing. I didn't have fun. I got tired. My weekend wasn't relaxing. So what about Pete? Did Pete have fun on his weekend? No, he didn't. Because he had so much work. He had a lot of work. What did Pete do on Saturday? On Saturday, Pete studied all day. What did he do on Sunday? On Sunday, he did the dishes, cleaned his apartment, he cleaned his flat, he did the laundry, and did the laundry. What did he do on Sunday night? He watched a DVD for history class. Was his weekend, was his weekend relaxing? No, it wasn't. Picture 3, this is Lacey. I had an interesting weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. I went camping for the first time. 
What's camping? Camping, you have a tent in the desert or a campsite and sleep in it. My friends and I drove to the campsite on Saturday. She went with her friends. They went by car. Drive the past drove. First, we put up the tent. Then, we built fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. They make so number one, they made the tent, then they built fire, they set fire and cooked dinner, they started to tell stories. On Sunday we went fishing. We went to catch fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot of things. For Lassie, she had an interesting weekend, a wonderful weekend. She went camping for the first time. So, first question. Did Lassie has did Lassie have a bad weekend? No, she had an interesting weekend. What did she do? She went camping. Who did she go with? She went camping with her friends. They drove to the campsite. What did they do in the campsite? They put up the tent, then they built fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. What did they do on Sunday? On Sunday, they went fishing. Did Lacey like camping? No, she didn't. Did she learn anything? Yes, she learned a lot of new things. Four, this is Jonathan. Jonathan. I went to rock concert. Concert, a musical party. British concert, American concert. With some friends. I had an awful time. I had a bad time. Awful, bad, too bad. It took three hours to drive there. To go to the rock concert, it took three hours. I didn't like the band at all. Band, the group of musicians. I didn't like the band. Then on our way home, the car broke down. While I was returning home, while I was going home, my car broke down. It didn't work. My parents came and got us. My mom and dad came and got us. I finally got home at 6 in the morning. I reached my house at 6 o'clock in the morning. I am so tired. What about Mr. Jonathan? Jonathan? What did he do on his weekend? He went to a rock concert. Did Jonathan go alone? No, he didn't. He went with his friends. Did he have a good time? No. No, he didn't. He had an awful time. He had a bad time. Why? Because it took him three hours to drive there. He didn't like the band. On his way home, on his way home, his car broke down. At what time did he get home? He finally got home at 6 o'clock in the morning. Was he happy? No, he wasn't. He was so tired. 
Now answer the questions. Read the chat room posts, then correct these sentences. Here, these sentences, all of them are wrong sentences. You write the correct answer, like number one. Karen got married? No. Karen's best friend got married. Not Karen, but her best friend. So you have to correct all of these sentences. One minute, try to answer. Number two, this is the correction two. After the wedding, Marilla's parents served a meal. Marilla's parents served a meal. Three, Pete studied all day on Saturday. Pete studied all day on Saturday. Four, he watched a DVD for his history class Sunday night. Four. He watched a DVD for his history class Sunday night. Five. Lacey went camping for the first time. Six. Lacey didn't really like camping. She didn't really like camping. Seven. Jonathan went to rock concert with some friends. Jonas went to rock concert with some friends. 8. It took 3 hours to drive there. It took 3 hours to drive there. That's the end of Unit 14. Part 2. Homework 1. Please number 1. Answer 3 pages of the workbook for Unit 14. Number two, listen and repeat. Study by heart, keep the words by heart. Watch the video of interchange. Wish you all good luck. Hope you like it, share it, and subscribe. Thanks, God. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together. <laughs>